everyone, I am Katie Dawes, Assistant Recreation Supervisor with the City of Wichita Park and Recreation Department. I'm super excited to be here with you today for this virtual field trip, along with two of my colleagues, which you'll meet a little later on today. But we are here on site at the Linwood Recreation Center. Linwood Rec Center is just one of the seven recreation centers within the City of Wichita. All of our recreation centers offer a great variety of classes and activities to help you physically and mentally. Um, these classes could be sports, uh, leisure and hobbies, fitness and wellness, um, as well as visual and performing arts. But let's duck into the gym and see what we can find on going there. Hey everyone, so we are here in the gym at Linwood Rec Center. All seven of our recreation centers have a great full-size gymnasium like this. You can take classes uh, such as Taekwondo, gymnastics, Japanese swordsmanship, or register for like a soccer or even a basketball clinic. If you don't want to register for basketball or soccer clinic, just try one of our drop-in classes, such as pickleball or volleyball. But let's head on down the hallway and see what else we can get into. Hey, not only does Wichita Park and Recreation offer indoor sports, but we also offer outdoor athletics to keep you fit and strong. Right now, we're registering for the Greater Wichita Junior Football League. This football program is available for first through eighth graders, and all games are played at the South Lake Sports Complex. If sports aren't your thing, no problem. We have plenty of other classes for you to try out. This is just one of our many classrooms where we hold fitness and arts and craft classes. You can register for a class such as Zumba, Fit Fusion, Yoga, Ballet and Tap, Salsa, or Ballet Dancing even. Uh, we can also set up an arts and craft area in here, take it a painting, drawing, or even a piano class. Let's go to our next room and see what we can find. If you're interested in trying a variety of activities, register for one of our summer camps, Summer of Discovery or Summer Activity Camp. It's a great program where you get to go on awesome field trips, play dodgeball and kickball, or even do arts and crafts all day, all summer long. This camp program is only available for six to 12 years old, and you may even get to use one of these cool game rooms like this. Let's head to the next room because that's for you older students. Four of our recreation centers have their very own fitness centers. All of the fitness centers include cardio machines, weight machines, and even free weights for all strengths and abilities. You must be 14 years of age or older though to use one of the fitness centers. Whew, this couple seconds has worn me out. Let's head on outside and cool off and see what we can find. As you might have guessed it, Linwood Recreation Center is in Linwood Park. The city of Wichita has 119 public parks open for activities and fun all of the time. And in those parks, there's a total of 86 playground systems, just like the one you see here. Some of our parks are smaller than one acre in size, while others get up to 600 acres like Pawnee Prairie Park. But let's head on down the road and see what else we can find. Several of our parks also offer some really fun and exciting amenities. Just like here at Linwood, we have our very own horseshoe pit. Other parks have skate parks and disc golf courses located within them. But let's head on out and we'll see what is up the trail. As you can see, we have this great, nice, wide paved trail. This is just one portion of the 108 miles of trail system that runs throughout the city of Wichita. Many of the trails go through the parks as well as winding down by the river. It makes for a great outdoor activity to go on a walk with your friends or family and even grab the dog and take him with you. But let's head up to our last destination. Right behind me is the site of the new Linwood Splash Pad. This splash pad is just one of six brand new splash pads coming to the city of Wichita, along with six brand new swimming pools. Such a great way to cool off this summer. And if you're over 16, we're currently hiring right now for all, all pools and splash pads. Make sure to hit us up. But we've hoped you've enjoyed your visit here at Linwood Recreation Center and Park. Now let's toss it over to Gentry as she tells us about more water activities at O.J. Watson Park. Hi, I'm Gentry out at O.J. Watson Park on South McLean Boulevard. One of the great options to get outdoors and active is on the 40 Acre Lake. My favorite activity is kayaking. Kayaks can be rented for just $10 or you can bring your own. You can paddle slow for a gentle ride or fast if you want to re race your friends. O.J. Watson Park recently acquired tandem kayaks so you can ride with a friend too. 
In the summer, we bring our kayaks down to the river so you can float with us on exciting new adventures there. Kayaks are for kids 12 years and older. For those of us that are a little bit younger, paddle boats are a great option. And you get to wear a cool life jacket like me. I really break a sweat when I'm pedaling, so I know it's good for my heart. This is a great way for the whole family to get out on the lake together and the pedal boats seat for people. But we have to wait until it's warmer outside before we can get these back out on the water. If being out on the water isn't for you, give fishing a try. Grab a pole and reel them in. You can catch a hybrid sunfish, a largemouth bass, or even a bluegill. And if you're lucky, you might just catch something for supper too. Now I know you're all too old to ride the ponies here at OJ Watson Park, but you should come by to say hey. <laughs> Each of the nine ponies has their own unique personality, but my favorite is Toast. Toast and I have the same haircut and we're also the same age. We offer pony rides for kids that are 10 and under when it gets a little bit warmer in the spring. Right now, the ponies like to stay inside the barn to be nice and toasty. Watson Park has 20 sand volleyball courts that are awesome for getting active with a big group of friends. Once it gets warmer outside, I'll see you all out here so we can bump set and spike the volleyball together. When you get tired from all the exercise and activities, take a break and take a scenic ride around the park on the miniature train. All aboard! Our final stop at OJ Watson Park is the 18 hole mini golf course. Did you see that putt? It was terrific. If mini golf is too small scale for you, maybe you should check out one of our four golf courses in Wichita. Let's go see what Shanna's up to at McDonald Golf Course. Thanks, Gentry. I'm Shanna Applehands, the Assistant Golf Division Manager, and I'm here at McDonald Golf Course, located north of Wesley Hospital here on the east side of town. So here's some fun facts about playing golf at an early age. It's gonna help you strengthen your spine, it's gonna build your core muscles, and it's gonna give you the confidence to try other sports and activities. The hand-eye coordination can help you succeed in other sports and help you build lifelong healthy habits. Studies show that golf will help you increase your life expectancy, prevent chronic diseases, and improve your mental health. So did I mention golf's fun? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's one of the most challenging and competitive and sometimes aggravating sports you'll ever play. But it's a great experience to have and to get out on the course and improve your overall health and wellness. So right now we're on the five full pitch and putt course here at McDonald Golf Course. And you can come play this course anytime and it's free. This area was designed to help those less experienced golfers practice and get a better feel for the game in a less stressful environment. Hole lengths are typically less than 75 yards, which is great because then you can only use two to three clubs and one of those typically is your putter. This course is simplified, which is really awesome because you can play it in less than 30 minutes. If you went out on any course and played more than five holes, it's gonna take you well over an hour. So having a simplified course like this where you can get in a quick round and have fun and be in a less stressful environment is the key to becoming a successful golfer. So check this stuff out. It looks like golf equipment, right? But not typically what you see on TV. So this is snag equipment. And snag stands for starting new at golf. It's the best first touch system to teach the game of golf. And it's effective for anybody. Everything is color coded, making it easy to teach. Golf professionals use this equipment to teach proper technique, break down swing speed, and grip placement. All four of our Wichita Public Golf Courses offer snag throughout the year. Check it out. So I wanna share with you an exciting opportunity that is available during the summer. It's called Wichita Junior Golf and it's an eight week program and we provide the golf clubs for you and it's only $25. So we're gonna give you instructional lessons. We're gonna take you on the putting greens, the driving range, and you're gonna get on the course and play three holes. Now, here's the cool part. 
Each summer, you progress through the program, eventually getting to the 18 hole program. Once you're there, your senior year of high school, you can apply for a $10,000 college scholarship. And you don't have to be playing college golf. Now, not to say that college golf isn't important because it is one of the most underutilized scholarships that's available. I know several high school students that started playing on their high school team their junior year and were eventually awarded a college scholarship. So you don't have to be the next Tiger Woods or Lexi Thompson. You just have to have a love for the game and it's gonna open a lot of doors for your future. So we've moved off the golf course. We're over here on the driving range located at the Steve Patrick Youth Golf Campus in the northwest corner of McDonald's Golf Course. I love to go to Indian Free, which is one of the golf course driving ranges. This one on the east side, and then we have two on the west side, one at Auburn Hills and one at Tex Consolver. This specific driving range was built just in the last couple of years, and the sand was imported from Arkansas to build the bunkers, beautiful white sand, and we have these AstroTurf hitting bays. Hitting balls on the driving range is a great way to stay physically active, and it's also a great use of your time when you don't have a lot. Come out here and hit it with you. Ooh, nailed it. So I want to introduce you guys all to my buddy Jack here. He is a city of Wichita boy, just like me. He was hired to chase off all the geese on this course. Do you guys have lots of geese in your house like I do? They're such a pesky bird and the only thing you can do to get rid of them is run after them and I have like the speed so you can be amazed how quick I go and get them. But here at the golf course, staff don't run up and down the fairway trying to get rid of geese. They send Jack after him. Now there's hardly any geese at this course. So that's it for me here at McDonald Golf Course. I hope you guys take some time to visit any of the Wichita Public Golf Courses. Take a lesson, join one of our programs, or just go play out on the golf course. From all of us at Wichita Park and Recreation, we hope you enjoyed this virtual field trip and learning about all of the variety Wichita Park and Recreation offers to keep you active, having fun, and keep your heart healthy. Visit wichita.gov slash park and rec for more information about anything we shared with you today and other opportunities, including Evolve, our activity guide.